Hey, in this video, we are going to do something amazing. You are going to see a demo that is powered by a multimodal AI agent that I am sure you may not have seen before in the internet. So we have created an interactive and dynamic website that is powered by AI agent. And I think what I'm gonna do is first show you the demo. And then as always, I'm gonna walk you through the code deep dive and the underlying concept, how it is all working. And by the end of it, you will be amazed and probably will have a lot more use cases coming up in your mind that is definitely achievable today using the technology that we have. So let's go to the screen and let me show you the demo first and then I'll take you to the rest of the tutorial. So let's test our interactive dynamic AI website. Let's click start order. Welcome to Dr. Donut. Can I take your order today? Hey, what can I get yeah, for you today? I was looking to order some donuts. What is it that is favorite today? Our pumpkin spice ice donut and pumpkin spice cake donut are really popular today. And they're both 129 each. We can also have a variety of one is the ice donut. That's the pumpkin spice ice donut. Would you like to try one? Yeah, let's add that. And I heard you have this lemon filled donut. Can you show me that one as well? Here's the lemon filled donut. It's one of our favorites and it's 109. I'll add the pumpkin spice ice donut to your order. Would you like to add the lemon filled donut as well? I've added both the pumpkin spice ice donut and the lemon filled donut to your order. Would you like to try one of our drinks to go with that? Maybe a pumpkin spice coffee or a latte? How, do, how does that look like, the pumpkin spice coffee? Our pumpkin spice coffee is a fall favorite. It's made with freshly brewed coffee and pumpkin spice flavor, and it's $2.59 for a cup. Would okay, you like to try sure. one? I've added the pumpkin spice coffee to your order. So to recap, you've got a pumpkin spice ice donut, a lemon filled donut, and a pumpkin spice coffee. I'll get that ready for you. Would you like to pay with card or cash today? I'll pay by cash. Thank you. My pleasure. Please drive up to the next window to pay and collect your order. Thank you sure. for choosing Dr. Do My pleasure. Hey, so how was the demo? I really hope that you have liked it and you have been amazed to see how we have been able to create the dynamic and interactiveness with AI agent as it was speaking. Just imagine different use cases that you can build with this kind of technology, right? You could build e-commerce website now, which would do product recommendation based on the voice communication with the AI agent. You could in fact build some kind of website which would do sale as if it was doing uh, a live streaming of product and people are interacting with the agent and just buying products. There are thousands and thousands of use cases that we can build with this kind of technology today. And this is just a demo, of course, uh, and I'm going to show you how we have built the demo, how it is all working, what all technology that is running behind. And uh, trust me, it's not that much complicated. It's really simple. When I'll show you the code, you will be thinking this easy. Anyway, uh, before I go forward to the core tutorial, if you are looking to build this kind of product or if you're trying to build this kind of e-commerce website, we now have launched our web development agency. So you can actually check out the link from the description and you can reach out to us if you need any technical team to help you build this kind of use cases website or your AI SaaS application. With that said, let's go to the core tutorial and let me actually show you how you can do it by yourself. So this is the infamous Dr. Donut tutorial that we have cloned from the Ultravox uh, public repository, but we have made a few changes to it to make it more interactive, make it more dynamic. So that is why the core agent remains same, the system prompt and everything remains same. So if you have seen my previous Dr. Donut demo, uh, this was exactly uh, that I have shown you that in that demo. It's nothing different in terms of the AI agent. So basically in the AI agent side, what we are doing is we have created a bunch of tools. So we have one tool called update order and we have one tool called highlight product. So if you are hearing first about Ultravox, I have already covered about Ultravox in much more detail in this channel. So just go through the YouTube videos in the channel and you will see a bunch of other tutorials like connecting Twilio and everything. And another thing is Ultravox is really cheap, which is like five cents per minute. Um, although I haven't tested fully in, in a production scenario of their models, how they're working, um, something I will cover in the coming days. So make sure to hit subscribe to the channel because I usually cover this kind of videos 
where we bring up different AI use cases or business use cases and try to cover in the channel. Let's not dive it away and go back to the tutorial again. So basically, as I was saying, what we have done is we have created the same exact AI agent and we created two tools. One is the update order and this update order contains four key elements that the AI agent is filling up dynamically, which are these four, which is the name of the product, the quantity, if there is any special instruction and then the price. And then we have the highlight product as a tool. And this tool also have two parameters. One is the product name. The location is product body. This doesn't mean much. It's just basically saying uh, it's a client tool where the particular DOM exists is in the body or where the particular product exists in the body. And this is a static. So AI is not going to influence this one. The thing that it's going to influence is the name of the product. So that is going to be dynamically filled by the AI agent as uh, the user would do the communication with the AI agent. And this is required true. And then we also have another parameter called action and action can have only show and hide. It's an enum and uh, this is also required true. So basically as part of the communication, when the user is communicating with the AI agent, the AI agent is just populating or calling either this function or that function uh, and it's just highlighting the required parameters, right? That's what we are doing from the AI agent point of view. Now, once it makes the call to the tool, which is highlight product, what happens is we are calling the tool uh, from the client side, which is from the browser. Now, generally what you have seen in different AI agent, uh, what in the internet is they call API calling as part of tooling, or they do make call to different backend systems and all this bit, right? But things that I kind of thought is, what if we just make a client tool instead of a server tool? It doesn't have to be always going to the server and call the tool. We could create a client tool, which would actually be interactive based on the AI agent invocations, right? So that's what we did. So what we have done is we created a client tools here. Bunch of client tools is update order, then highlight product. And in these are all client tools. What I mean by client tools is this is the tool that will be invoked in the client side, in the browser side. If it's a React application, it will be invoked within the React application. It will not go to the backend. You can actually uh, integrate your backend API as part of this tool, but I haven't done that. To be frank. We can, of course, improve this as per our need, but I just wanted to show you the interactive nature as part of this demo. So that's why I just keep it uh, specific to the client tools. Now, the way we need to handle the client tool is something called event. So what we are doing basically is if you go to the product display. So in the product display, we have created some event listener. So this event listener is listening for product highlight type of event. And similarly, we have the order details.tsx. This is also using the exact same approach. We have added an event listener, which is uh, waiting for order details updated uh, kind of event. And basically in the client tools, what we are doing is when the AI agent is calling this tool, let's say it's calling the highlight product tool, we are just uh, basically getting the product name from the particular tool calling. And then we are matching the display name of that product. And then we are basically creating a custom event, which is a product highlight type of event. And we are dispatching that event. That's it, we are doing nothing else really. And when we are doing it, uh, and of course this has the action. So if it is action show, then we show it as highlighted. We mention it as unhighlighted and we dispatch the event. And then in the client side, which is in the product display, we receive the event think somewhere here we are receiving the events and then based on the category so there are two category we have defined in the ui you have seen so we have a donut category and we have a drink category and basically in this section right we are saying if the product has highlighted in it then we are basically just creating a kind of a box or sort of a, a ring around the product and just popping it up as an animation. And that's it, right? We are not doing anything else. So this is in and out uh, type of animations that you would have seen when the product is being displayed by the AI agent when it was doing the communication. We have basically registered 
our product here. So every product have the name, there are certain images. So we created a bunch of SVG images here. Uh, so you'd see a bunch of SVG images and by default, the is highlighted is always false, but when it receives the event, we have got the action. And if the action is show, that means the is highlighted become true. And then the animation takes place and we are able to see the highlighted image coming up. Very similar to that, we have the order details. I'm not going to walk you through. This is you, this is probably is going to be your task. So go ahead, download this code and go through the order details. It is exactly similar as I have shown you for the product display details or product display page. If you have any questions or concerns or if you're not sure how it is all working, let me know in the comments in of this YouTube video. And also, as always, what I say in every video is let me know in the comments of your learning need so that I can create uh, the content specific to your learning needs and create this kind of different business use cases. If you have liked this video, again, if you have learned something new out of this video or added some value, don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I don't really have anything else to share as part of this video. This is a really simple website as I have told you at the start. The, the way you would start the application is just run pnpm start after you clone. Sorry, you just need to run first pnpm install that will install everything and then just run npm run dev and that will start the application or, or if you if you want to use pnpm just run pnpm dev that will also start the application and once you have the application just go there and you'll be able to see all the product and you will be able to browse through it and you will be able to start talking to it before you do that all you have to do is forgot tell that you just need to create an env file here and just add the ultravox api key which should be all listed here with the readme file so just create a env.local and add the ultravox api key you get a 30 minute free ultravox api usage so use that wisely and use it in this demo and as always let me know what you think about the video and if you have any kind of customized ai solution need again use the link from the description and reach out and with that said i'm gonna end the video i really hope you liked it and please take care and I'll see you on to the next one. Bye.